in this question, you are given a rotated sorted array and you are asked to find whether a given number exists in this array or not. But what is a rotated sorted array? An array is rotated if you take the last element from that array and move it to the beginning of the array. So if, so if we take this sorted array and move the last element to the beginning, it is rotated by 1. We could keep rotating it n number of times. So I could again take 60 and move it to the beginning of the array. So given a rotated array like this, how would you go about finding if a given element exists in this array? You're given an array like this and you're asked to find if the given number, say 40, exists. Let us try to see if we could use binary search. The problem is the number 40, which is bigger than the mid 20, is on the right hand side of 20. However, numbers bigger than 20, like 60 and 70, are also on the left hand side. So, how do we go about using binary search? How do we decide if 40 would be on the left hand side of the mid? or on the right-hand side of the mid. If you take a closer look at the numbers, you would see that the numbers from 10 to 50 are sorted. So this gives us an intuition that if a number is between 20 to 50, it should be on the left-hand side, if not on the right-hand side. In fact, you could see that there are two sorted sequences. One is from 60 to 70, and the other is from 10 to 50. No matter how you rotate the array, every number is part of one of the two sorted sequences, either from beginning to that number or from that number to the end. And this holds no matter how you rotate the array. So, as long as we assume that the elements are unique, we know that number 40 must be somewhere from 20 to 50 because the numbers from 20 to 50 are sorted. Since all the numbers are unique, if at all 40 is present, it has to be present somewhere from 20 to 50. So knowing this, we could try to use binary search. The idea being, if the number is within the range of the sorted sequence, we look at the sorted side. If not, we look at the other side. For example, let us start, um, let us see if we could find 10 in this array. Beginning is 60, the end is 50, and mid is at 20. We could see that the number we are looking for, 10, is not in the sorted side, which is from 20 to 50. Basically, array of mid is uh, less than array of end, so 20 to 50 is the sorted side, but 10 is not in that range, so it has to be on the left-hand side. So we could discard the entire right-hand side. Now again, uh, beginning is at 60, mid is at 70, and end is at 10. This time, the sorted side is from beginning to mid because array of beginning is less than array of mid. So uh, again, 10 is not in the sorted sequence from 60 to 70, so we could discard everything on the left-hand side of mid. Well, right now we are just left with a single element, which is the key we are looking for. So we can go ahead and uh, return the index of the element that we have, in which case it is mid. So what do you think would be the time and space complexity? Regarding time complexity, remember that at every step, we are halving the array. Do you think if this method would work if there are duplicates in this array? Would we really be able to split the array in halves if there are duplicates? Why or why not?